Hi, my name's Danny. This is Annie and this is our daughter. And we are from a project called We Be Kids, where we make short films for you and your families to do together to connect you with nature and boost your well-being. Today, we are going to be showing you how to make some rowan berry jelly. Rowan berries are a small acidic fruit and they grow on the rowan tree that's also commonly known as the mountain ash which happens to belong to a species in the rose family. Now these berries are full of vitamin C and they are used in sometimes liquors and also pressed into jams and jellies like we will do today. They can actually be toxic but most of the toxicity fades when they get hot and heated or frozen. In order to make this rowan berry jelly, you're going to need a few items. A sieve, a pan, a muslin for straining, a bowl, some utensils, 450 grams of rowan berries that you've sieved and washed, 250 grams of sugar, 250 millilitres approximately of water, a measure, and some sterilised jars. To begin with, go through your rowan berries and just ensure that you have removed all stems wherever possible. Next, pour your rowan berries into your pan and cover just with the water. Place your pan over your fire and bring to the boil and simmer for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, remove your rowan berries from the fire and you're going to strain them through your sieve. Next, take your muslin, place it over your sieve and pour your rowan berries into the sieve. Gently mash your rowan berries in the muslin just to release any of the excess juice. And then taking the edges of your muslin, you're gonna strain with your muslin over the sieve. And just gently twist out any excess juice. And then we are going to leave it to strain in the muslin over the sieve and over your bowl for about an hour. To get the right ratio of sugar for your jelly, you need first of all to measure out the strained liquid. One way to do this is to use another jar. As you can see, ours has reduced down perfectly. We have one jar of liquid and therefore we need one jar of sugar. So now pour your strained liquid into your pan and return to the heat. Once your strained juice is boiling, pour in your sugar. And stir. Making sure that your sugar is nicely dissolved and once it is, we will be decanting directly into our sterilised jars. Be aware that your jar is going to get very hot because we're pouring hot liquid in. So you may want to make sure that you have something to hand to watch for fingers. And then you're going to pour your jelly straight in to your sterilised jar. and seal. So there we have our rowan berry jelly. All that is left now is to let it cool and set and then you can enjoy it with a whole range of foods. So we hope you enjoyed this resource and we'll see you again sometime soon. Take care! Bye! Bye.